layers. Mm -hmm. Situations are very challenging. How have you prepared and how much are you in love with this character? I mean, I was in love with the character as soon as I read the first episode and you know I spoke with the producers and they mm -hmm. talked to me about what they wanted to do with the character and how they wanted to do um, a, a police drama but in a different way you know formulaically if you look at other police dramas it's always about a case every episode is a new case they said we don't want to do that we want to have a show that's feels like real life, the real life of these characters and how they deal with adversity, how they deal with the job and what it's really like to be a detective in this country, in the climate that, mm -hmm. you know, if you turn on CNN, what, how police is, the police are being uh, depicted and portrayed. And I was like, I want to do that. That just felt like more than acting to me, you know, it, it transcended just the art, yes. you know, and, and I loved it. And they told me they wanted to create a character that would not be the same for the whole show, no matter how many seasons it went it, it would be a character that would start in one place and end up in a different place he would go through a lot and and I was ready I said sign me up when we met Loman at the beginning of mm -hmm. the season he's a person with this addicts this code of this moral Absolutely. boat that he goes <laughs> right. with in a very passionate way and the challenges as I said before are humongous mm -hmm. towards the end he's still struggling and fighting mm. for those values and those things that he believes in, but something is changing. Mm -hmm. How do you see that applied to what real life is? Because right. it's a real character. Absolutely. Um, it's just like you said, that is real life. You know, when you have an idea of who you are or mm -hmm. at least who you think you are and other forces out of your control, circumstances beyond your reach come in and affect mm -hmm. your situation, you have to then rethink who you are or dig deeper and be staunch and not be susceptible to change. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what Loman is going through. And what I love about how the character is developing, especially now in this new season, is that he's dealing with it. We see the character deal with these issues. You know, no one just changes overnight. You know, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, it's a diff it's a continuing process that happens over time. And um, I think that's what viewers are going to see with Loman. And that's what What's interesting about the character is that we watch him dealing with his changes as he's changing in real time in front of our eyes. And um, I think that's true to everybody's life. You know, I think we've all done things that we regret or things mm -hmm. that, you know, we wish we had done. And, exactly, yes. and um, we try to build our morality or sense of self around um, who we think we are based off the decisions we make. Mm -hmm. That's what it is to be a human being. Yeah. You know, he's a character who is now part of the group. And um, we've, we see him really start to find his place and his footing in this group and, you know, him discovering the position that he now holds mm -hmm. within that group. And um, he's definitely harder. He's definitely um, uh, uh, not as idealistic, not as, uh, you know, uh, optimistic about, mm -hmm. about law enforcement. And we see him still struggle with glimpses of who he used to be mm -hmm. when he first joined the, the, the NYPD. And I think that's just fascinating. That's interesting, you know. I think sometimes writers try to shy away from uh, contradicting characters, you know, characters who are one way today and a different way the next day. But the truth is we human beings, are con we contradict ourselves all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love the fact that that's something they didn't shy away. We get to watch that in real time. And um, I think people really relate to that.